Hello again, welcome to my channel. This is my solo ride to Mersing, day 2. Good morning viewers, today is the second day of my 5 days solo bike trip to Mersing. I woke up early to enjoy the sunrise at the beach. The cool morning breeze carries the fresh sand of the sea. The sky transitions through a palette of colors from deep blues to warm oranges and pinks, offering a serene and breathtaking view. Each step on the soft, damp sand feels grounding, connecting me to the earth. This tranquil moment, free from the hustle and bustle of daily life, allows me to reflect, breathe deeply, and simply be present. It's a perfect way to start the day, feeling calm, peaceful, and rejuvenated. As I make my move from the resort, saying goodbye, I cannot wait. What adventures awaits me as I pedal out of Sadiq? The roads are smooth and well paved, making for an easy start to the journey. The early morning sun casts a golden glow over the landscape and the air is fresh and invigorating. The terrain starts to change with a few gentle hills but nothing too strenuous. I was happy to see the sign that says that we are entering Mercy, although we just started the journey. It was indeed encouraging, to say the least. The weather remains favorable, with temperatures hovering around 28 degrees, which is the perfect cycling weather. just have to be extra careful on these roads as we can encounter heavy vehicles speeding. We just passed the famous Tiger Base Campsite, which is a fantastic destination for nature lovers and adventurers. Activities at the camp include jungle trekking, river kayaking, and obstacle courses, ensuring there's something for everyone. Maybe next time when I'm considering camping outdoors? Hmm.
who doesn't like going down here? It's an accelerating experience that combines speed, freedom, and a touch of adventure. As you start your descent, the initial push of the top of the hill gives you a rush of excitement. The wind whips past your face and you feel a sense of liberation as gravity takes over, allowing you to coast effortlessly. The landscape blurs slightly as you pick up speed and the world around you seems to come alive. Trees, fields and the distant hills all blend into a beautiful moving panorama. As I make my way to my first pit stop after riding for 25 kilometers, I take the time to soak in and connect with the surroundings. My next stop is a petrol kiosk where I take the time to wash up as the day start to get hot. Finally, a change of scenery from the palm oil plantations and hilly roads to villages and food stalls by the roadside. We are now at a town called Jemaluang. As I crossed the river in Jamaluang, I realized that I have completed halfway through my journey. Just another 45 kilometers to go. Just as I was getting into the rhythm of the ride, the weather took an unexpected turn. Dark clouds rolled in and it started to rain heavily. I quickly sought shelter in a nearby plantation. As I waited for the rain to pass, I thought of a quote by Vivian Green. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, but about learning to dance in the rain. This unexpected pause gave me a moment to reflect and appreciate the journey even more. As I was reflecting and appreciating the moment, I felt sudden movement behind me. 
I initially thought it was a snake. Turns out it's just a lizard, also taking shelter from the rain. A few moments later Finally, the rain subsides and I make my move into Mersing with just a few more kilometers to go. Halfway in, I felt that the front wheel wasn't really responding to my move, and yet, as I expected, it was a punctured tire. I managed to push the bike to a quiet neighborhood nearby, and with a bit of patience and determination, I managed to repair the tire and get back on track. Hi. Finally, I arrive in Mersing, 
The journey was about 86 km and took around 5 hours, including breaks. The weather held up beautiful and the road conditions were mostly favorable. It's been an incredible ride, filled with scenic views and the joy of solo travel. And yep, I'm so happy that I reached town. But the adventure doesn't end here. I realized that my accommodation is all the way up to Aipapan, which is a short ride from Mersin. But the good thing is that the road to the beach is lined with lush greenery and the sound of the ocean grows louder with each paddle stroke. As I reach the beach, the sight of the turquoise waters and the soft sandy shores is absolutely breathtaking. It's the perfect spot to unwind after a long ride. And finally, I arrive at my resort near Aipapan Beach. Although it has been an additional 10 kilometers from my original destination, the journey has been long but incredibly rewarding.
As I settle in, I reflect on the day's adventure. As Helen Keller once said, Life is either daring adventure or nothing at all. Until the next episode, thanks for watching!